for a fact. Like, Oily can do it. I know for a fact, like, they, they've had really close sets before. Yeah. I know Oily can take games. He took a game in Winner's Finals, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, like, their games are generally, like, even if Fire Ice is fairly dominant in general, like, and it's been winning a lot. Yeah. Some people are catching up. Yeah, and it's definitely. Oh, yeah, and it's uh, really nice to see. Anyway, let's get into game number one here, let's say. Yeah, so Resto already cornered here by Fire Icy, trying to find his way back. Does it successfully, but not without getting comboed here by Fire Icy. Yeah. Nothing long ago, thankfully, for Oily, but, but the thing about this matchup is every percent matters, at least for Raster. Because... Uh, yeah, he's super light, right? Yeah, exactly. Raster is one of, one of, if not the lightest character in the game. I still, like... I'm still slightly like on the fence on like which character it is and don't remember the exact stats for everything. And <laughs> there you see it, it's kind of exploding. What and a call out there on the jump. And one thing Rivals does nicely when it comes to how a floaties are handled mm -hmm. is that they take increased... Th Whoa, Ooh, that was, that was, that was super slick! Let's go! That was so sick! Um, that was really, really nice uh, off of that f -tilt. Um lighter character, The lighter your character is, the more hit stun you take. So there's still kind of a way to make it so that follow-ups are still possible. Right. Okay. And since Zetterburn is a really juggle-heavy character mm -hmm. and has both the weak, and the sour and sweet spots on his aerials, yeah. it's he can have a decent time just racking up constant damage. And if he if Fire Icy gets a parry at like 60, Oily is dead. Oh yeah, because he, Shine Up Strong yeah, is extremely that, ferocious. Yeah, I saw that in the first uh, Winners final set. Yeah, yeah. yeah Fire Icy is prob probably the, the most consistent Shine Up Stronger in the entire Rebels community. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it firsthand right now. It's yeah. it's been ridiculous. Just the amount of pressure that this guy puts on you. Like you, you cannot ever feel safe against him. Yeah, like you, you can't be calm, calm down for a second. Like. When I was I, I, I was talking like I've actually got to fight him uh, two weeks ago at Vivaldi Alten uh -huh. in Norway because uh, I decided to go to Norway because it's it's close. I, I'm from Stockholm. You know, oh, it's, it's yeah, like it's yeah. it's like it's sure it was like a seven and a hour a seven and a half hour bus ride, but it's like not that far off. So I decided to go, and like in preparation, I was like considering if I should just get some really high speed music to listen to, just so I am never calm when playing him because otherwise oh. it feels like it's just impossible. You can't slow the game down when you're playing against Fire Icy. Like, it's, it feels near impossible mm -hmm. to do, so you instead have to match his pace. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh yeah. What? What? yeah. That's that's a rough one, because Yikes. so that move is fairly fast. It comes up frame five on the, the back hit, Yeah. and it has, like, n almost no hit pause. Especially on the second hit, so, so DI'ing it right. is actually really, really tough if no. you're not reacting properly. Uh, like, the main thing is that Cyberburn has fire strongs, yeah. and... Down strong is like a particular case where there are benefits to not having the, uh, the empowered strong happen, just because like that one gives people more time to react in right. DI. That makes perfect sense, yeah. So yeah. you can actually try to cheese him a bit with that exactly. uh, low hit stun. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's and really interesting. So Oily picking right back to Jules Vale does yeah. not want to try any other stage just yet, it seems. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he's getting it started right now. Try to follow his drift there in the air, but. Couldn't get a hitbox that connected. Yeah. Oh, and that's actually quite interesting. So Rester's dash attack actually goes over the fire on the ground. That's really good for the matchup, I think. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. <laughs> good observation. That's quite good. If that's actually true, that's another question. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, see here. They're qu quite just... This is a bit of a, a slugfest. They're both just hitting each other quite hard, trying yeah. to get that one kill, and there it is. Oily takes yeah. the first one. Managed to catch... Uh, so one one habit Fire Icy actually has oh my God. that's pretty <laughs> common is that uh -huh. he tries to jump out of things most of the time. Oh, he yeah. never jumps or shines. And he even also jumps out of shine because uh -huh. jumps to jump cancelable and all that. So uh, I definitely also have some success just trying to fig figure that if he's going to try and escape from what I'm doing, he's going to jump. Right. And Oily managed to read up perfectly. Oh, right, there you go. Because yeah. like even that, in that situation, he jumped out of disadvantage, but he was at least high enough so he didn't get caught. And there we go. Uh, so, the eye out of Raster's comments and getting out of them is... Uh, oh, Yikes. Yeah. That's, that's also the roughest part of being a floaty. Is that if you get spiked, you're in hit stun for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm fairly certain that on some stages, if an Absa down airs a Raster at zero, they're dead. <laughs> because <laughs> they're in hit stun for that oh long. Oh my lord, that's crazy. That's actually insane. Yes. Right, but now it's quite even. One stock to one stock. Oily really trying to end it all right there, but now Fire Icy on the offensive has this advantage state. That's a, that's a quite vulnerable recovery. Yeah. Is there actually any reason as to why he's using the neutral special more often than the normal a B? Uh, so neutral special is a constant active hitbox. Mm -hmm. It can be beaten out, 
by like uh, certain oh, certain moves. Like it ha it has it got it used to actually be way way harder because of how the hitbox was, but they changed the hitbox so it uh -huh. uh, alternates and stuff, and you can cl hit the wings basically. What a beautiful tech that! That was crucial. Um, but oh, the fact is, there's it. still a rising continuous hitbox what? that's actually kind of difficult difficult to contest sometimes, and ah. Oh. Man, he's I keeping it really, really close. I can't believe Fire Eyes actually dropped that uh, first kill there. Yeah, that was free, but he still managed to clutch it out in the end. And now Oily is looking at having to make a reverse 3-0 against the guy that beat him in winners finals. Yep. So that's going to be rough on him. It's not unheard of that Oily reverse POs people, mm -hmm. and it's not like it's definitely not impossible. Like I've said this already in this set. I definitely consider it swap, but it's going to be harder since he has uh -huh. to now play on Fire X to counterpick twice if he wins. Yeah. And he's not even opening up the stage pool and just is keeps picking Jules Spell. Unfortunately, he drops that edge guard. Could have been could have been nice conversion, but yeah. Unfortunately, he dropped it, but now still taking this all the way to the bank. Oh, he almost got the the forward strong there in the air, but yeah. I think he definitely could have converted, done, made more, done more for that opening, but it is a scary spot to be in. So actually, there, I think the platform messed up his uh, shine into uh, yes. up strong combo. Yeah, there. since it was moving, it meant that he, it's, the spacing didn't really end up happening because the entire way it works is that there's a specific, yes, specific spacings uh -huh. where it is completely true. It's oh. a completely true combo. Yeah. Uh, the places where it's untrue are the very edge of the shine oh and the very like inside of the shine. Yeah. Because at the outside you can DI out and if it's too far in then you can just DI in. Okay. Basically. That's good to know. But most spacings are perfectly true and Fire Ice he knows all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but since that's happened, it pretty much made us that the spacing was equivalent to the edge of the shine. Just because he got moved back. That's crazy. Yeah. The fact that he can react to that so quickly. That's uh, that's absurd. Yeah. Ooh, he tries to get that forward strong, but no, no cigar. Has to find his way out of the corner now. But Fire is not letting him breathe whatsoever. Yeah. I think like one of the most important skills when you play against Fire is you need to learn how to play from the corner as much as you really don't want to. Like you need to at least be somewhat comfortable playing there. You obviously obviously shouldn't aim to be in the corner all the time. But if you're at least comfortable there, then you it will be nice. It won't be as bad to play against Fire Yeah, Rising. if you just don't t pick any like panicky defensive options that he can capitalize on very easily. Yeah, pretty much. We're well, using that drill, but is that going to be it? No, it no confirmed there. And this is as even as it can be. Once again, these two have been going neck and neck, but every single time Fire Eyes just seems to clutch it out. Beautiful air dodge there on the up strong. Just some solid neutral trying. Both opponents trying to find an opening, but Fire Icy just says, okay, I know what you're gonna do. You're just gonna stand there. <laughs> and then Oily says, I know what you're gonna I do. Mean, you're I gonna get hit by my up special. Yeah, I, he, he finally gets it. Like, I, I'm pretty sure he at least had a few moments where he tried doing that against me, and he does like getting so. He has a, had some really silly mm. up specials that he's done before. I believe that's actually the first one I've seen in the, in the entirety of this uh, top three so far. Yeah. But I do know his one of his favorite ones is that something he's done to a player called Hukon. Mm -hmm. uh, he taunted in neutral. Oh. Hukon went up to him and he up special out of taunt. <laughs> oh no. And killed him. <laughs> it's pretty sick. That is so BM. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, uh, oh, oh my lord. I, that that could probably have been either attempting a tornado or mm -hmm. maybe pushing a bit more. But there it. we go. There is Fire Icy's dead tech to up strong and Fire Icy. Congratulations for winning Syndicate 2019. Such a Dominant performance, 3 0 yeah. Oily there. Yeah. Beautifully played, honestly. Yeah. This is, this has been so then the continuation of Fire Icy's tirade. And you'll get to enjoy even more of him at Traction 5 next month in Leo Dom. Uh, let me double check the dates for it so I can uh, quickly. That is, of course, very important. Quickly you tell you when to tune in next for some hot European Rivals A for offline action. Exactly. It's going to be at Traction 5. As soon as Smash GG loads and tells me, uh, <laughs> November 29th to December 1st is when you'll get to enjoy some more hot European Rivals A for action. You'll, of course, get to see Fire Icy, Oily, me, your boy Slime Puffin. Some of the notable people that entered this tournament will also be at Traction, as some of them are even on the TO team, like Blark, Full Metal. Uh, and of course, I also would like to give a big thanks to the streamer yeah, for course. pretty much last minute go, like go helping Kuz, us. The MVP. Yeah, big shout. Out. Like, I don't want to like go on a too long of a rant about this, <laughs> but especially because of respect out of Syndicate staff. 
Um, there were definitely like some complications with scheduling and a lot of communication that went kind of wrong, which is like that happens, yeah. right? It happens At sometimes. A big event yeah. like this, yeah. yeah. Sometimes communication just kind of goes wrong. It was a lot. Like I've seen parts of the conversation. It's been a lot of like back and forths, where decisions have kind of changed. So something must have just gone, kind of gone lost along the yeah. way. So we originally had a stream slot for tomorrow, but we were promised Saturday basically. So we now today managed to. Uh, thanks to Fiegel, basically managed to hit up the staff and get us this slot uh, with Ongo Goku's stream instead. And I'm very happy mm -hmm. that to have uh, that he was up for this. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad he allowed me to also give some slight just tips on adjustment for the overlay because it really looks a little different because it's really for Tekken. But I gave him a bit like just some feedback on like how to right. change for Rival since I know the overlay and like help him with that. Uh, so thanks a lot for having us, Go Goku. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. Um, I also want to give a shout out to. Thigo for running it all once yes. again because he uh, he was also the, the TO for Albion I believe. So yeah, he was he tiered Albion. He's been putting in the work for the yeah. rivals scene and I find that very commendable. Yes. Hey, you joined me. <laughs> Shoulder gang. Yes. So with that being said, I think it's time to round it all up. Yeah. Thank you all for watching and please don't forget to tune in for the other events at Syndicate such as of course Ultimate singles top 64 today. Yeah, it's going on. Right. It's top 64 tomorrow, but yeah. top 128 is still going, right? Yeah, I think so. And I think, yeah. there might actually be cruise going on. I'm not sure entirely sure Ooh, about cruise. that, but cruise is very Ooh. interesting. So yeah, cru definitely cruise is check sick. that Make out. Make sure to watch cruise. Yes. So thank you all for yeah. watching. Have a great yeah. evening. I've been your boy Slap Puffin, and we're out.